Okay, this lesson is, uh, is the turnaround, measures 11 and 12, and this, this is what I'll be doing. Uh, I take it, most people should know this if you're into the blues. And it's used in rock too, just as easy top. Right. Uh, what we're doing here is uh, I'm taking my third finger, we're in C, and I'm placing it on the C note of the 10th fret of the D string, uh, D string, and then I'm taking my first finger, and I'm on the 8th fret of the, uh, of the E string. C note, C note. And then what I'm going to do is release that first finger. I'm sliding my third finger down to the 8th fret of the uh, D string, and I'm putting my pinky back on that 8th fret of the E string. Okay, and then I'll take my middle finger, and I'll go to the 7th uh, uh, fret of the D string, and first finger uh, will be on the 6th fret, and then 5th fret, first finger. And I'm picking that. This stays the whole time. That C note stays throughout the whole riff. I'll do it again. Okay, you can pick down, pick up, pick down, pick up, pick down, pick down. Or, uh, let me see over here, I'll use that claw thing, you can see me do it here. I got my middle finger right there on that E note, I mean on the E string. I'll do that again. Okay, one more time over here. This line, by the way, is used in all kinds of stuff. It's amazing when you really get into this stuff. But here's our root, and then we go to our flat seven. And here's the uh, sixth, and here's the sharp five, and here's the five. But you hear it in all kinds of songs, especially this part. It's really cool. You'll hear this, this, this riff, and a lot of ballads. I'll do a lesson on that one. It's really cool once you once you learn how to use it. Okay, that's it for today. You guys have a pleasant one.